Hi, I'm Willie Howe. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for being here, and I appreciate each and every one of you. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing and hitting that little bell notification icon so you can be notified when I release a new tips, tricks, or tutorial video. If you're a returning subscriber or viewer, thank you very much. What we're going to talk about today is speed test. Now, I know everybody out there does iPerf, but I personally, when I'm working with a client, iPerf, I, I, I don't like it in front of clients. So I knew there had to be something different, and there is something different out there. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up our own HTML5 speed test internally. So there's a few things that you will need for this. Uh, first, you're going to need a Linux box, or you can do it on Windows, but I'm going to do it on Linux. And then you need to actually install the software. Now, this tutorial is from FreeDiff, but I actually, um, uh, the HTML5 um, speed test comes from, from someone different. And you can check it out. I actually uh, shot him over a few dollars because I found it. It's so helpful. So maybe you'll you know feel compelled to do the same thing. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to hop over here to the Synology, and we're just going to spin up a virtual machine for this. And I'm going to use Ubuntu 16.04 server, and we are going to install this as uh, we're going to install a LAMP server. So. All right, so our system is done and is booting now. And so as soon as we get the IP address, we are going to SSH in. While that is doing its thing, here is the original um, GitHub page of the gentleman who created this. And I'll leave a link to this down below. If you feel, if you use this and you feel uh, like you want to donate, I donated with uh, PayPal send him a few USDs um, over just because uh, I think the software is fantastic and it, it's something that's more presentable to people than iPerf. It's something that's more relatable to someone who's non-technical. So let's see here. We've got our first login here. Did I type the password correctly? I did not. Did I do it wrong again? Nope, there it is. All right, let's just take a look here. ifconfig 66.60. And we'll do a we'll do an update and then we're going to install haveged. <clears throat> And then we'll do an update. It says that there's some updates available. And, you know, 16.04 is still LTS. It's still got support for a couple of years. So everybody whose head is on fire right now because I didn't do 18.04, relax. 16.04 still got plenty of support. Uh, let's see here. I guess I could just do an app. Right?
So we'll let this go through. And then we'll just do a quick update. We already did the update, so we'll do an upgrade. Get all of our packages up to date. Now, what we're gonna do is we are gonna follow these instructions and I'll leave a link to these as well. So we've already got the lamp stack up and running because we selected that. If you were paying attention to the Ubuntu install, we selected that earlier. So we just need to install the uh, PHP Encrypt package and then we will follow the rest of these instructions. Now, this I'm just running this over an IP address for now. We could attribute it. Run it on the same box as other servers. There are instructions down here how to create a virtual host for it. We're not going to go that far. We're going to get it up and running here and uh, then do a speed test. If you were just, just had Apache installed and PHP, then you would need this lib uh, module PHP, this lib, lib Apache 2 module. But we, did a, we just did a LAMP install. So we already have Apache, PHP, MySQL, all the things for a LAMP server. Now, this is installed on my Synology, but it's the only thing that's running. And you could put this on a dedicated machine. You could put this on a dedicated machine that has 10 gig if you've got a 10 gig network. That way you could, you could test 10 gig networking. Now, I've just right now rearranging things i don't have anything 10 gig hooked up none of my synology units have 10 gig so everything that i'm doing right now is going to be one gig and we'll see but if i'm going to show a client a speed test i'm not going to show them iperf i'm going to show them this because it's going to be something that they can relate to because anytime you call your isp uh and you're complaining of speed, they'll have you run a speed test. Many people are familiar with running these speed tests already. So this is just, it's, it's familiar. So I think it'll be a little bit more impactful. All right, looks like our updates are finished. So let's do a sudo apt install php dash encrypt. Say yes to that. It's going to install the package. So we've got a lot of videos coming up where we're going to use this. So if you're following along, this is what I'm going to use for doing a lot of my speed tests. They're going to be coming up. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to navigate over to the Apache 2 folder. And we need to do a nano, which is an editor, into the apache2.com file. Now, we are looking for the keep alive value. So we can do a control W. It's going to allow us to search the file, and we're, we will see, search for keep alive. We'll hit enter, and it's going to land our cursor on the first hit. And that keep alive is already on and should have been uncommented. Let's look at that again. Yeah, so it is on. All right, so now we need to go over to the PHP folder. And we're going to do a nano into the PHP INI file. Now we're going to look for each one of, of these values, and we're going to modify it accordingly. So max execution time goes from... 30 to 90. Uh, control O will allow us to write the file out just in case something were to happen here. All right, max input time is 60. That will go to 90. We're going to look for memory limit that's already set at 120. Eight. Now we're going to do post max size 
it's going to go from 8 to 50, Oop, 50 megs. And then we're going to do upload max. And that's going to go from 2 to 50. Those are all of our changes. So control O writes the file, control X exits the editor. And then we'll do a Apache 2 restart here. <clears throat> now we're going to clone the repository and uh, put the files in. So we should have Git already, but it's always a good idea to make sure that you have Git. So just sudo app, yeah, we can see we already have it. So now we're going to go into the var www, and we're going to do a sudo. And actually, by default, there's an HTML folder here. So we'll go in there. We're going to uh, we'll leave that temporarily. We're going to do a sudo git clone. And it's going to clone it. And now you can see we have the speed test folder. And we're going to do a sudo copy example gauges to index.html. And for our purposes, this is done. So now we just need to browse over to 66.60. Let's see. Okay, that's the default page. That's at index.html. So we're going to go slash speed test. Here it is. We can modify this if we wanted to, but we're going to click start. We're going to see what we're going to get. So this is going to go from my machine to the virtual machine on the Synology. So you can see we got 916.55 megabits per second down, and we're getting 651.42 megabits per second up. That's from my workstation to the Synology. So I'm going to leave all of these links in the description. Now remember, this is what we're going to use. Well, I'm not going to use iperf for my my testing. It's going to be all HTML5 speed tests hosted here. So that's it. If you're going to follow along with the uh, testing and, and things that we're going to do, I've got some special videos that I can't wait to get out here um, as it's starting to get warm. And this HTML5 speed test is going to be the one of the tools that we use for these videos. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Go try out the HTML5 speed test. If you like the software, throw, throw the guy a donation. Um, please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will reach out to you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. That's our promise to you. If you'd like to uh, talk to us on Discord, the link is down below. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon, and thank you to those folks, that link is down below. And as always, our Amazon and all of our other affiliate links are down below. None of those links change your price but they do kick a couple bucks to the channel to keep things rolling in. And as always, I want to thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.